This is Mark Tucker with Wheaton Honda. Congratulations once again on the purchase of your 2019 Honda Ridgeline EXL. We're gonna go inside and go over some of the interior features now. Down on the driver's seat, you'll notice we have forward, backward, front of the seat lift, rear of the seat lift and lower, your tilt angles here, and this adjusts your lumbar support. You'll notice from our exterior video, here is your switch for your fuel tank opening. You have your window buttons over here, windows up and down, window lock here, and door lock unlock. Now we're going to jump on inside and continue on with a bit of the orientation. Mind me just getting this set up here for you. As you can see down here, we have our shift lever, which is locked because there is no power. If I start up the vehicle, it then allows me to shift lever after applying the brake and pushing this down into here. You do have the option to turn overdrive on and off with this button down on your left. This button here will adjust your traction control mode for intelligent traction management. And as you can see, I'm pushing it there, but you'll see it changes the display on my dash to let me know normal mode, snow mode, mud mode, or sand helping adapt this vehicle to different driving conditions. Now, you'll join me right here. We'll zoom in a little bit. Here you have your HVAC system. Your HVAC system, simply turn it on by pushing the on button. Everything's currently synced. So if I use this lever here, it adjusts the temperature in the entire vehicle. However, if I hit the button, I can then change the passenger temperature or go to the rear and adjust that independently of mine as this has three zones. You have heated seats high and low on the left side and the right side. You do still have a CD player in this in the 2019 model. For your front, this will turn it to defrost mode for you. The same thing, the system that comes on during um, your remote start function with the intelligent, with intelligent smart start. The rear seat, this is your rear glass and mirrors for heated, heated and thawing. You're also going to notice that down here you have a power outlet, standard 12 volt accessory plug that goes in there, but you also have a direct USB port with a white outline to indicate that it is for data usage as well. And you plug your phone in here to use the Apple CarPlay Android auto capability of this vehicle. Now we're going to go up to here. Whereas you can see, if you'd like to pair the phone to the system, it says now. So we're just going to hit home so I can show you how to get to that screen. To pair your phone, first time you hit phone, it's going to come up with no phone. To add a phone, you'd hit yes, and then you just walk through the steps on screen. It's very easy if your phone is searching for a Bluetooth connection at that time. In the screen, it's very customizable. You just hit up here in the clock info settings. You can change the wallpaper so it has different different look. You can change the clock style the wallpaper, you can change it so it looks different and hit preview. Really cool little customizable feature about this car. If that's something you'd like to do is we're going to go back. If I hit add new and I would have had a USB stick in that data transfer port, it would pull an image through there and I could load it up onto the screen. There is a limit to the storage capability of this vehicle. Um, it's about five images for customized wallpapers. In the home section, we're going to go into audio, audio powers off, so we'll just hit the power button in the top corner, turns it on. Now we're set to 107.9. If I wanted to change and set my preset station, I just push and hold this button here. And then as you can see, it does take over as that is the preset. This is to quickly dim the screen. You can just rapidly touch that a couple times to dim it. If let's say you were at a drive-in movie or just didn't like the bright light at the night and you wanted to blank out your screen. In the other menu, there are tons of customizable things within here. This is the menu. There's the home screen. Information. This is vehicle information. You can switch to the trip commuter, voice information, and it'll help walk you through learning how to do th different things within the vehicle. Lots of, lots of blank screens in here for additional applications in your settings. Here you can adjust 
many different facets of the vehicle, including the audio system. You can get to there. Oh, my arm is on the resting on the chair, so it appears I have turned off the brake. Radio system says information. We're going to leave it on so it IDs the radio songs. Different options within the audio settings. Smartphone, vehicle, it's your vehicle information. All of your systems are here. You can keyless access to set up what happens when you approach to the door unlock mode. So for this, when you push the button, to, when you reach your hand to the door, does it unlock one door or all the doors? I always set it to one door for safety sake to, in advance. You can always change that at a later date. Remote start, walk away, auto locks uh, as to all those different settings. These are all the different settings. You can go to door setup, auto door unlock. So decide when your doors unlock. So after it's, you turn the vehicle off, do they unlock with the driver's door off, when you turn it off, or when you shift to park, or if it's off entirely. Maintenance information, this is where you'll see what oil life and service is at. We're going to go over that in a second of the other display. That gives you a pretty good breakdown as to how to use this system. Let's move on to the next. So here we have a steer the steering wheel with all sorts of technology and buttons to play with. This button up here. Oh, for some reason. Oh, it's this one. I apologize. It's not relaying my information right now. There we go. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button, that's why. Uh, so I'm going to push audio. And then I reach over and I push this button here. It then flips on this screen, because I was in one of the two, between phone or music. That's what this button does. Volume up, volume down. This can switch between preset radio stations. This gives you the same menus. Down here, you have your phone controls. So you push the button to add talk. Right on the back, on this two finger button here, heated steering wheel is on, heated steering wheel is off, indicated by the little amber light. Over on this side, you're gonna notice you have three buttons. This button will relay information to your dash, which you can adjust based off your, you can see your tire pressures, Fuel economy, average fuel economy is 76.4 per 100 kilometers. This vehicle's idle a little bit just sitting around there a lot. So it's probably very inaccurate. Most cars are until you drive them a little bit. This being a brand new car with 18 kilometers. A cruise control. So the cruise control buttons are, the main button is how you turn it on and off. You can see the little green lights. When they're on, it indicates that cruise control is an active system. This button here, is your follow distance. So if you push this, this sets how far you're going to follow with adaptive cruise. If you push and hold the button, it turns adaptive cruise mode off and puts it into traditional cruise mode, which disables the adaptive cruise. This button here, so we'll turn that back on. This button down here is for your lane departure. And this is what will help keep you, guide you between the lines during cruise control. As you can see, those lines are clear right now their outlines when the vehicle is seeing the lines on the road it will indicate and show them as solid as well a vehicle will appear above where that acc symbol is it'll appear and show that there's a vehicle there okay Perfect, everybody. That I'm Mark Tucker with Wheaton Honda. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a tutorial as to the new 2019 Ridgeline. Uh, you also have your headlights over here. Set them to auto. You don't have to worry about turning them on and off. And your mirror adjustment is also right over here with the Econ Boat mode button. Um, down here as well, you have... Down here as well, you have your park sensors. Your road departure mitigation button, I always recommend leaving that on. Traction controls here. This is your emergency brake mitigation. You have to push and hold these to disable them. I don't recommend it. Uh, I always like those nice safety features. This is your 
cargo light. And this is the heater for your wiper blades. There's a ribbon heater that sits underneath the wiper blades. Always recommend replacing the Honda brand inserts instead of going to an aftermarket blade as they are less expensive and seem to hold up pretty well, especially in our climates. Again, thank you guys so much for checking it out this video and I hope you love your new 2019 Honda Ridgeline. I'm Mark Tucker with Wheaton Honda. Have a wonderful day.